When current is flowing through a metal conductor, electrons are colliding with neutral molecules, and with the molecules they have lost electrons. A moving electron can remove another electron from a neutral molecule. In this case it loses its kinetic energy and forms a new positive ion. It can also become part of a molecule that has lost an electron with a positive ion. In this case, a neutral molecule is formed. When electrons collide with molecules, energy is consumed. This energy turns into heat. Any movement that has to overcome the resistance requires some energy. For example, while moving, a body has to overcome friction. The kinetic energy consumed is converted into heat. Electric resistance of a conductor works similarly to friction. So, in order to run current through a conductor, the current source has to use some energy. The energy is then converted into heat. The joule lens law, also known as Joule effect, describes a process by which electric energy is turned into heat. James Prescott Joule, the British physicist, and Heinrich Lenz, a Russian scientist, simultaneously discovered the law independently from each other. They found out that when current flows through a conductor, the latter produces heat. The quantity of heat produced is in direct proportion to the squared current, electrical resistance, and time. The latter refers to a period of time when the current is flowing through a conductor. This is the Joule Lenz law. For example, we need to count the quantity of the heat produced by a heating device over 30 minutes. The device is plugged into the mains at 100 volts. Its resistance is 24 ohms. The on time in seconds equals 1800 seconds. And now let us count the quantity of heat produced by the device. The voltage square divided by the resistance and multiplied by time gives us a quantity of heat equal to 907.5 thousand joules.